Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today I'm going to be doing a little video, a quick video on uh, Hive OS on Watchdog. Um, I was going to try to get some videos out this weekend. I have not felt good. I went and had a COVID test and it came back positive with the little line. So kind of freaking out. Um, I have been, uh, I've gotten the vaccine I, I, and I have had the booster shot. Um, whether I wanted to or not, I have had it. So um, I'm going to hope for the best. I have a doctor appointment at uh, 3 o'clock. It's uh, 2.06 now. So anyway, I'm going to head up there in just a minute. But I thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, and I apologize for this weekend again. I've been wanting to do so many little videos that uh, have just been building up little little things like Watchdog. So anyway, let's, let's talk about it. Uh, let's, let's jump over here first. So Watchdog. So, I like Watchdog. I just started recently using Watchdog. Again, another thing on Hive OS that I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. Uh, like I said in my other videos, I'm a Windows guy. I started off in Windows. My whole life has been in Windows, obviously. And then when I started mining, it was nice hash for just a little bit because I didn't know, you know, my rear end from my elbow. Then I got into doing the mining software. But now that I've been using Hive, I really like it. Uh, it's still a little, um, I, I don't know, obviously I don't know everything and there's some several videos that I'm going to do on Hive because I'm learning these things little by little and the different features that that's offered. So one of them is Watchdog. So what does Watchdog do? Well, it's kind of the name. It, it watches your rig and it looks for anything that's happening that's abnormal and really all it's going to do for you is going to reboot, you know, uh, which for everything that it offers over here, you know, for just a reboot, it's pretty involved. But sometimes, you know, your rig before it fails, it could use a reboot. And, um, and if it does fail, sometimes you need to physically reboot it and you won't be able to do it remotely. So at least this way, it, you know, preemptively reboots for you in hopes that it could solve whatever the problem is. And then you can, you can log into it and still do some work, um, maybe change some settings. But if the rig, you know, goes down uh, and you're out, then you won't be able to physically, you know, restart it. So you're kind of, kind of in a, in a spot where it makes it tough and watchdog helps you out with that. So let's just go over the settings really quick. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go over the settings that I'm using. So, uh, restart the miner after three minutes. So if the hash rate goes down, if there's errors, um, any of these things that happen, uh, the, the miner will uh, restart in three minutes. Now the rig, the entire rig, the board, the whole nine yards will restart after five minutes if I continually get these errors. So, uh, you know, uh, you could put these down a little bit. They don't need to, you know, have running errors for that long. I think, you know, you're pretty much get the message when you're getting these errors if they're consi con consistently happening over the course of several minutes you just want to go ahead and do a reboot so two minutes four minutes you know uh now la load average you've seen these errors i know you have because i've seen them too many times for you not to have seen them and i am going to do a little video on this one uh, it's not as involved as i want because i'm still learning more about this and uh, there's so many different thoughts on this of where this problem really uh, uh, comes from and where it really affects. So we're gonna do a, a video on uh, load average down the road. For now though, uh, and it tells it right here, they recommend 25 for your default because I haven't dug into this enough. I'm not sure if that should be up or down one or two points. So I'm gonna do it at the default. And the only reason I'm even choosing this is because I know I get some of these load average uh, problems or I had but we're going to get into that in the next video. So, excuse me. So, uh, these settings right in here, I, uh, this one's obviously new. I haven't gotten to that one yet. I'm not going to worry about these. Uh, if the rig stops reporting for any reason, it's going to go ahead and, uh, reboot. Um, and let's see here. What else? Uh, the power. I'm not going to mess with the power because, um, you know, there may be a fluctuation. There may be something. I, I don't want to get into that just yet. Really, the, the, the bottom line is that if we did have a power um, dramatic reduction, 
it will just reboot. So you just want to make sure you have that on reboot. At least it'll reboot uh, the miner when it happens. And then uh, make sure you have it set on miners. Now this is one down here you can look at. Uh, and this is the T-Rex. So uh, oh, actually want to change this to mega hash. So make sure you click on that and it changes it each time you click on this. Wow, terror hash, I wish. Oof. So let's get that on mega hash. So the idea here is that um, when your overall mega hash for that rig goes down below a certain point, it will, um, it will reboot uh, again. Everything is just a reboot. It's a restart the miner or reboot the whole system. It's one or the other, and it will try both of them. So right here, what I did was, uh, what you'll do is you'll just look up here. Uh, this rig right here runs at 210. So I figured if one of the cards completely went down, then I definitely want it to restart, or if it went down a significant amount. So I basically almost removed one whole card uh, as you can see here it's down by 30 so it's 210 i have it at 180 so as you can see my cards here are running at 34 and 35 and um but if it goes down below that uh, so it's not that if a card completely fails but if a card goes down significantly enough it will trigger this also so i've got it set at 180 uh, you can set this at whatever number you're comfortable with um you know you know the mega hash definitely goes up and down sometimes you lose connection for a second there's a hiccup with the pool whatever it could be and you could drop but um so you don't want to have it you know i have 210 you don't want to have it at 209 because you are going to see those fluctuations so you you're going to want it to be a, a reasonable amount to drop before it uh applies that setting and then you just hit apply also don't forget to that come up here and, and turn it on um you know uh you want to make sure it's turned on so anyway that's watchdog and it's pretty straightforward it's pretty easy uh, i've been having some trouble with this rig with getting the no temp uh the no gpu temp error and um and then the other rig i'm getting that la error and i think i solved that one but this one i've been getting um the temp error so uh, i've been doing some work on this and trying to get this thing squared up so anyway that's it that's watchdog pretty much straightforward in a nutshell it's really easy to use and it saves you a headache it saves you a headache down the road if you can't be at your machine or watching your rig 24 7 um you know you can also set up alerts things like this but overall uh i think this is the easiest way so i appreciate you checking in give me some thumbs up I uh, appreciate any comments below, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I was just looking at it this morning, and we are at 202, so very cool, 202 subscribers. And uh, and I know every time I say how blessed I am, but I got to tell you, I, I just can't believe that, uh, <laughs> that 202 people have subscribed. So thank you very much. If you want to check out any of my other videos on HiveOS, I'll have a link over here. And I am going to be doing um, a continuing on this series of Hive OS. I put a couple out already, and it just because I've been learning so much with Hive, I'm just going to continue to put out more and more Hive videos as I learn things, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll learn with me. So again, appreciate you checking in. I'm going to run to the doctor here, and I have to be there in 45 minutes, so I'm going to get out of here. And I'll let you know. I'm st just emailed about those uh, L3 pluses also, and I just emailed them saying, you know, hey, when are they coming in? So you know, uh, we'll see about that. Um, but anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for checking in.